Hi, I'm Ina Toppler Mooney for About.com, here to talk about ways to reduce gas and bloating. Whether it's occasional or chronic, gas and bloating could be very uncomfortable to deal with. Luckily, there are ways you can help minimize the chance of getting these conditions and also things you can do to alleviate the problem if you already have it. There are some foods that can cause gas and bloating and these foods can be divided into two categories. Number one are general gas producing foods and two is foods that a person can be allergic or sensitive to. Foods that generally produce gas for many people are asparagus, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, legumes, and peas. Many people aren't able to digest these foods, which is why gas is produced. One easy tip is to cook these foods well, which will help in digestion. Also, supplements such as Beano and other digestive enzymes can greatly help to reduce gas. Food sensitivities play a huge role in gas production. While every person may be allergic or sensitive to different types of foods, the main allergens are gluten, which is found in wheat, rye, barley, and oats, dairy products, corn products, and soy. If you suspect an allergen or sensitivity, check with your healthcare practitioner or a nutritionist for further evaluation. Gas and bloating can also be caused by an overgrowth of yeast and bacteria in the intestine. Other things you can do to reduce and eliminate gas and bloating are make sure you drink plenty of water, at least six to eight glasses per day. Exercise is also very helpful. Any type of low impact cardio, like walking, biking, elliptical, or a light jog is very helpful to move things around in the intestines, and that will help to pass things along. Stretching and yoga are also very helpful to release gas. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit about.com.